So Monday, maybe it was Tuesday, I uh, got brand new tires for the Forerunner, and they are the Firestone Destination MT2s. And this is uh, the first time I'm going to take them back to the Bushcraft Ridge land and get them dirty. It's not really wet, so I can't do like a full review of them, but I will tell you that I had these on my um, 91 YJ a couple years ago. I don't have that vehicle anymore, but they were incredible. I, I, well, those were the Destination MTs. These are the MT2s and they're a little bit more aggressive sidewall pattern and the tread I think is a little bit more aggressive but I in the in the Wrangler I never got stuck in those things man they could go through anything so I'll shoot a couple of different clips over the next few weeks and we'll do a review of these tires and I'll let you know what I think all right just got them dirty for the first time this was the first test for these guys been raining a little bit lately you can see down there uh, this is where I usually pull in turn there pull up there back up and then back the forerunner up here and if it's wet uh, my old tires were they can't they they were on the vehicle when I got them they were Toyo open country ATs the all-terrain tires and the lugs wouldn't clear so you see here, these lugs, they're, they're much deeper, much more aggressive, and they clear. The mud, the mud actually comes out of there when, as it's going. So it's got like chip ejectors and, or rock ejectors, and the lugs, the mud actually clears out of them when you're coming up something like this. And I just backed it up. I didn't put it in four wheel low or four low or turn off the um, differential. I, I didn't lock the differential. Uh, just backed on up, no problem. So that was the first test in semi-wet conditions. It's been raining all week. It hasn't been raining today. I really like how the mud clear, how this clears the mud. <clears throat> so that was the that was the first test. See, I just. And there wasn't even really any sliding, you see, you can because you can see the lug prints in the dirt. It didn't spin anywhere. It just came right on up. All right, uh, when it gets a little wetter, we'll get it back out and test it some more. It's another day. It rained three days straight. And in the continuing adventures of testing my new Firestone Destination MT2s, came out in the mud came up my normal track and I will tell you with the old Toyo uh, open country ATs I could not have gotten up that I couldn't even gotten to this part I can't get up the first part of the hill hill uh, when it's too wet in the old tires got up here um, I tested so I actually did start to slide here and I let myself slide off into this kind of ditch you see where the wheels were sliding there or the tires and you see, I cut some furrows right up through there. And then I stopped. And I got my manual winch out to make sure, well, I didn't get all the way stuck. I got my manual winch out to make sure I was strong enough to winch this thing uphill. Unfortunately, I am, and now I'm exhausted. Uh, I didn't winch it to right there. I just wanted to make sure I could. Um, then I got back in, turned it back on, and I got unstuck. I, I got fake stuck check to see to make sure I can winch myself out of there and then hey hey Oliver how's it going Ollie gets car sick he uh he wasn't in the car or in the forerunner when we tested this because he threw up on the way over but I'll go set this up uphill and then let you see me clear the mud out of the lugs and throw some mud
hopefully the lens wasn't too fogged up. It looked like it was fogging up. It might have cleared. All right. So you can see what the tires do well is continue to spin and it's, it's called clearing the lugs. So the reason tires don't do well in the mud is because you see the mud gets in the tread and it forms just a complete slick surface. It just stays slick and there's no traction. What these tires do well is what I keep calling clearing the lugs. The mud doesn't stay caked in there. It, thro it throws the mud out, allowing the tire tread to grip again. And those most AT all-terrain tires, like the Toyo Open Country, they didn't clear. They would just get packed with mud and then slide. You couldn't do anything. You would just be in one space. And this is in four low with the differential locked, meaning all tires spin at the same speed. Um, uh, this the the fourth gen forerunners are V8s and they uh, they have differential um, oh, where the tires it's always in four wheel drive but the tires can spin at, at different speeds but you see it clears and keeps climbing and this is this is a pretty steep grade um, maybe it gets really steep right there to like 45 but maybe 30, 35% grade. You probably can't tell it in the camera. If I backed up, maybe you could, I don't know. All right, guys, so my final opinion on the tire is I like them. I've tried them in on the road. I've tried them in gravel. I've tried them in when this is just dirt. And now I've tried it in mud. All right, have you guys ever tried the Destination? MT2s or maybe the first gen MT1s. I had those on my old 91 YJ. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. And Ollie and I will see you on the ridge.